Hello, welcome to this video looking at using captions in Microsoft Word um, so that you can label your figures, tables and create um, tables of figures and tables of tables at the beginning of your document, um, for instance in something like a dissertation or a thesis. I've got a document open already um, that's got um, various different chapters, it's got different numbering within those chapters and we're going to look at how we can also incorporate those um, chapter numbers into the um, numbering of the figures as well so that if our figure happens to be in chapter 1 it'll be figure 1.1, if it was in chapter 2 it will be figure 2.1. So I'm going to um, just scroll down the document and you'll see that I've got some spaces at the top of my document ready for my table of tables and my table of figures but so far nothing to go in there um, the first thing I need to do is go and find one of my figures okay so here's my first um, image which is um, just a, a little photograph it's got a label beneath it and this label is going to be part of the caption so I'm going to click in front of that label and on the referencing ribbon use the insert caption button to um, in, add a caption to this now it's using the label of figure which is what I need but at the moment it's just giving me figure one it's not giving me that figure 1.1 that I was after so I'm going to click on the numbering button there and check this little box here to include the chapter number. It uses the default separator of a hyphen, so I'm just going to change that to be a full stop, or as the Americans like to call it, a period, and click OK, and now we can see we get that figure 1.1. Click OK, and it will automatically put that in front of the um, label that was there, and it will apply the caption um, style to it. You'll notice it does just need you to press the um, space bar just to put some space in between the um, the figure and the and the label and the uh, yeah the label. That's right. So over here you can see that that has uh, had the caption style applied to it, um, which is this sort of blue um, italics. Um, you don't have to accept that exactly as it's come in there. You can modify this. If I just uh, right click where it says caption here, choose modify. I can change this, for instance, to be black, not italics, bold, and slightly bigger. There you go. So if I scroll down now, there's another one here. I can click again in front of that label, insert caption, everything is already set, so all I need to do is click OK, and press the space bar, and that's automatically swapped it to that new style caption style. If I just go down the rest of the document, I think there's about another five images or so, so I click in front of it, insert caption, OK, press spacebar. Now you can see I'm now in chapter two, and my figures are automatically getting that number two, so it's 2.4 rather than just figure four. This is my last one. Okay, so that's all of the captions um, created. So if I then just go back up to the top of the document, I'll quickly use the navigation on the left there 
uh, I can click underneath where I've got my heading already set up for my table of figures. Up here on the referencing ribbon, I've got the option for insert table of figures. Select that. Um, there are various different um, sort of formats you can use, but I'm just going to accept that one as it is. Click OK. And that puts that table of figures automatically into my document. Now I can do exactly the same for my table of tables. There is just one table in this document, which I believe is in this organization section. So if I just go down to there, here's my table at the bottom of the document. Um, I don't have a label for this one, so I'm just going to click an insert point anywhere in the table at all. Go back up to insert caption. Now this time, I don't want it to say figure 4.2, I want it to say table 4.1. So I need to change the label here to be table. And then I have to reset that numbering. So again, include the chapter number and change to your preferred separator. Now notice it's is going to put that position above the selected item. You just have the two options there of above selected item and below selected item. And um, it is uh, set to the correct one. We do want it above. Um, the standard formatting is that um, labels for figures go beneath the um, figure and labels for tables go above the table. And that has put that in. And I can just um, type in there the rest of the, the label. And then just like we did with the um, table of figures, I can go up to where I've got that heading. Again, insert my table of figures. Because I've changed the caption label in the insert caption box to be table, it is defaulting now to the table. Um, just note in there that you can also have um, equations if, you, if you're a mathematician and you're using a lot of equations or if you've got equations for statistics and things in there, you can include that. But we're just going to leave it set to the table option. Click OK. And that puts that in. So it's very simple. Now there is one just other little thing that you might want to consider with captions and that is um, the auto caption option. If I just go back to insert caption, you'll see that there is this button here at the bottom auto caption. And what this does is it allows you to select um, regularly used um, objects um, and you can get it to automatically put the number in for you whenever it um, creates these things. So I can say, right, if it brings in an Excel worksheet, I want that to be a table. If I bring in a, um, I've already got this selected, a Microsoft graph or chart, I want that to be a figure. And then if I want to bring in um, a, a picture of a slide, I want that to be a figure. And if it's um, a table, I want that to be a table. Click OK. And then if I was to insert a new table at any point in the document now, if I just go to a sort of different part of the document and do um, insert table, you can see it automatically brings in that heading there, table 1.1, which of course I can add my extra text to. Okay, that is it for captions. It's quite simple, um, but it's it means that you can um, renumber that you know you can change things around in the document. You can replace figures, and your numbering will automatically be correct. So at the top of the document here. Oh, by the way, if you do need to update these, say you change um, the page that it's on, uh, you just right click in the document, update field. And you get that same options you get for the table of contents. Um, you can update those as you need. Okay, thank you very much.